So I finally chose my man, y'all. Byron for the win. Where's Team Byron at? Welcome to my channel. I'm Ellie Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, my new song, At Your Place, is now available on all the streaming platforms. So make sure you're buying, streaming, downloading, listening to the song, because I am remaking my Discord, y'all. I deleted the old one, and it's time to remake. And if you buy my song on iTunes, send me proof, send me a screenshot, DM it to me on Instagram, Twitter, or you could just tag me in a picture on your Insta or TikTok, wherever you wanna show me. Show it to me, and when I see it, I will DM the link to my Discord. I'm in there. I'm the only one in there right now. I want to fill it up. And while you're at it, check out the merch at outfits.art because the stuff, the stuff slaps, okay? But now that that yapping is out the way, it's time to get back into episode. We got things to get into, you know. Summer out here making stupid mistakes. She about to get stabbed by the, the lady who we thought was Grace, although Grace has been dead for three months. It's just, it's just too merch. It's just too merch. But anyway, it's not too much for y'all to like the video, so like it thank you summer fever season three story by lucas chapter 52 like a hot knife through butter uh-oh what did summer get stabbed bruh oh my god move move let me through summer come on girl please be smart please <sighs> girl i guess we could say goodbye to summer y'all i'm joking a dead end there's no way she could escape. She must be hiding. I saw you walk out. I know you're here. This is a dead end. You can't go anywhere. Show yourself. I know you're not Grace. She died. Oh. I said show yourself. The T. And they did show themselves with a knife. This is why, Summer, you need to have one, too. Self-defense. Come on, girl. <gasps> Watch out! Did DJ come to save me? Oh, she got lucky. Summer, you running out of your luck. Who's that? I couldn't see their face. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I think I'm good, thank you. Girl, a rose? The person who attacked me dropped a rose? What does that mean? Is the rose for me? Girl, if they had a knife, I don't know if it was for you. It might have been for the us. <gasps> The rose might have been for the DJ. And Maya could have been trying to take me out. Why did I just think about that? Anyway, any here are the drinks? Sorry it took so long. There's only one bartender. It's okay. DJ Urban Sky is taking a short break. You didn't miss much. Wait, where's Summer? What do you mean? She was with you. She joined you at the bar. Yeah, but that was over 10 minutes ago. She said she'd be with you guys. Uh-oh. Excuse me, are you friends with a girl named Summer? Yup. Uh, yeah, we are. Why? Did something happen to her? Follow me, please. Ooh. <laughs> Don't be friends with Summer unless you want some bullshit going on. Summer, what happened? The security guy wouldn't tell us anything. Yeah, I'm okay. It was nothing. Are you her friends? Someone tried to attack her with a knife outside. I was going for a smoke and I saw the scene, so I said something. And whoever that was, they left and dropped this rose at your friend's feet. Yeah. Summer, that doesn't sound like nothing. Oh my God, is he real? Is Chris Urban Sky really here? Thanks for your help, Chris, but I just wanna go home right now. See how she didn't care about me? She, she called him Chris. You see how Maya's being sus right now to me? Listen, you heard it here first. Of course, I'll drive you back to the hotel safely and stay with you, okay? Thank you very much, Mr. Urban Sky. You probably saved Summer. I didn't do much, really, and please call me Chris. Oh my God, okay, Chris. Girl. I mean, um, thanks for helping our friend, C Chris. You see? I'm ready to go. You, you see how Maya never give a damn about Summer? She never gave a damn. And she want to take a selfie? Thanks. I, I love your new album. She's so insensitive. This is why, for somebody, somebody commented that I still never fully forgave Maya. You're right, because she be doing shit like that. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. 
Mm. Good morning, Sleeping Beauty. Did you have a good night's sleep? Could have been worse. I'm actually feeling okay right now. You're feeling okay? Are you sure? Yeah, probably because I woke up next to you. Summer, what happened was serious. It's not a joke. I know it was. But it's also not the worst thing that has happened to me. True, your car blew up. Somebody stole your friend's baby. So please don't make it a big deal and don't tell people about it. Especially not my dad, he would freak out. Yeah, I know, I won't tell anyone. You know what's funny? I dreamed about that rose. I wonder why they left a rose behind them. Yeah, that's definitely odd. Are you sure it wasn't in the alley before? I'm sure, yes, and I can't wrap my head around this. Well, I want you to stop thinking about it, okay? This was a reminder for me, and I won't let anyone hurt you anymore. So I'll do anything I can to keep you safe. Oh, so cute, but y'all, my eyes are on Maya for real. And please put these in the beach lounge, thank you. Dad, what are you doing? Summer, hi. As you can see, I am back to work. He shouldn't be working now. I'm worried. Dad, you know what the doctor said. You shouldn't be already working. Sweetie, I'm a stubborn old man. You know I won't listen to doctors. <laughs> At least he's aware. I know. But you will be happy to hear that I booked a very important guest for today. And I believe she could help us erase the hotel's current reputation. Good. But I could have done it myself if you had asked. Who is it? Bye. James, you know you're not fit to return to work, right? Thank you for your concern, Raymond. I'm feeling perfectly fine, though. Get him. Mr. Parker, why are you still here? My father is back now. I'm aware, but he has not fully recovered yet, so I'm here to make sure that the hotel gets back on track. This is what everyone wants, right? So, does that mean that you will leave once the hotel is back on track? Yes, my job here will be done by then. And what is your job here exactly? Besides hosting these mysterious private parties? Well, excuse me, the VIP guest is here. Who is it? Great, let's give her a warm welcome. Who is it? Her? Is it, um, is that, is it that lady that Lee likes? So who's our special guest? Her name is Driti. She's an influencer socialite from India and has a lot of followers on social media. Okay, hey girl! She cute! Hi, wow, this hotel looks much nicer than I imagined. You know, I was picturing some place like the Cecil Hotel after everything I heard. Damn! But it looks like a tropical haven. I'm sure my fans will love to see the pictures and videos I'll take here. Great, yes, share as much content as you want. We are very glad to welcome you to the Powell Tower. And if you need anything, just let us know. Oh, that's so nice of you. Well, then you can carry my luggage to my room, thanks. Oh, influencers, right? She thinks I work here. She thinks I'm an employee. Well, we can't afford to disappoint her, can we? She has millions of followers, so you should be doing whatever she wants. Not me, bitch! Raymond is right. She liked you, and we definitely need her on our side. But I don't work here, and I'm not trained for this. I know, but the hotel needs you. <laughs> Besides, you've already worked a few days here. You know how things work. Are you kidding me, Dad? All right, I'll do it. I'm sure the uniform will suit you perfectly. Ooh, get him out of my hotel because I'm sick of him. I feel bad. It was my job to take care of the guests. You should be doing it. It's okay, I'll do it for you. The faster our VIP guest gives us good publicity, the faster Raymond Parker leaves. Oh, right. Now I understand why you're so eager to do it. Yeah. Hey, Malcolm. Why he being so sus? Malcolm? Oh, Summer, Maya, hi. How are you doing? I'm just picking up my stuff from the locker. My trial will start in a few months, so... I'm trying to enjoy the outside world as much as I can. And technically, I can't work for the hotel anymore, so I have a lot of time on my hands. Yeah, I'm really sorry this is happening to you. Yeah, well, I'll see you around, maybe. Damn, that's so sad. Do you think the police will find who really did this and leave Malcolm alone? I don't know. I hope so. Oh, she's so cute. Go girl, serve. Jitty, hi, do you need anything? Oh, hello, thank God you're here. I'm trying to take a good selfie, but I can't find the right angle. Would you mind taking a picture for me? Um. Here, just take a bunch and I'll make a selection later. Okay, me. <laughs> Are you taking the pictures? Oh, um, right. Get them, get them pictures. Oh, she dropped it low in the photos. Go, girl. Me too. Summer, what are you doing? And why are you wearing... I'm working here because I work here. <laughs> you know that, right? Uh, just go with it. Right. Hi there, I'm Dutti. What's your name? Um, I'm Byron. I'll see you later, Summer. Enjoy working. 
He's just so confused. Me too, honey, me too. Wow, that guy was a total snag. Is she gushing about my man? Okay, look, he is cute. And I do have to pretend to work here. And she is an influencer, but she, she need to back up. Um, I'm going to be subtle. I'm going to be nice and be like, oh yeah, my boyfriend, he's, he's so good looking, right? I know, right? He's the best. I'm very lucky. Oh, you're together? Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. I would love to take a steamy picture with him on the beach with the hotel in the background. A steamy picture with my boyfriend? <sighs> I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. I cannot. I, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. We need good publicity. But my boyfriend won't do it. I know my boyfriend wouldn't do it. Uh, you want to take a steamy picture with him? That would be great, I guess. What exactly do you mean by steamy? Like something really sexy for my social media? Sexy. Huh, okay. You know what? There are a lot of other hot guys at the hotel. Yeah, but he would be perfect. Do you specifically need him for that? It's just a picture. Let's get real. I know you're not a real employee here. And I know that all you want from me is to make your hotel look good again. So here's the deal, you get him to take that pic with me, nothing else. And I will attract so many guests that you will have to hire more employees to accommodate everyone. Ugh, I'll let you think about it. Are y'all, oh, what, what the hell was that? Are you serious? Is that what influencers do? Cause I don't do that. Excuse me, I overheard your conversation. That woman was very pretty, but her attitude stank. I know, thanks for rubbing it in. That's why I won't allow that steamy picture. Look, I know a thing or two about man stealers. My very rich late ex-husband got sucked in by a Scandinavian hooker. Ah, oh, she was the worst. Ah, oh. I mean, he wasn't too innocent either, but she was a real man stealer. She enjoyed hurting me. But this sexy woman you just spoke to, she doesn't look like one. I'm sure she just wants a picture, trust me. And if I'm wrong, which I'm not, then you can call the police and tell them I'm staying here. What? Why would I call the police on you? Are you on the run? Right, what the, what, what huh? No. You know what? You want me to take a picture with a stranger? A, a steamy picture. I'm screaming. Why would you want me to do that? I know, it's a weird request, I do. But it's our only shot at getting some good publicity for the hotel. So if the hotel has a good reputation, then we'll have many guests again. And if the hotel gets back on track, then Mr. Parker will leave. So let's say it's no pain, no gain. And are you sure you're okay with that? Um, I might have felt a little jealous at first, but yeah, I'm okay with it. I mean, it's just a picture. You were jealous, that's cute. Is it though? Look, I'm 100% yours, but if this can help your family's hotel, then I'll do it. See, I knew it, nothing gonna happen. Thanks, Byron, I really owe you one. And maybe you can expect a reward tonight for your sacrifice. A reward? I already can't wait for tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, it worked. Thank you so much for accepting to take the picture. So how should we do this? Quick, let's do it quick. <laughs> so Byron will take his shirt off and I'll take the picture. Okay. Wow. Stop it. I mean, uh, not wow. It wasn't a wow wow, it was like an average wow. Just strike a pose. Go ahead for it. I can't believe we're doing this. Is she not even doing that sexy? Does it look good? Should I do something else? It doesn't look good. Tell him to get a little closer to her or perfect. Stay far away from her. It's perfect. Uh, no, this is good. Just stay at that distance. You know what? This is ridiculous, but I have an idea. Handsome guy or whatever your name is, lay on the sand. Summer, get the shot while I pose with the hotel behind me. Okay. Uh, okay, let's try that. This is so weird. What the, what's, what? Oh, wow. It actually looks really good. Of course it does, I'm in the picture. Don't forget to send it to me, my fans will love it. You know, I feel slightly objectified right now. I, I, I bet. I know, I'm sorry. Cause like what? Just think of it as modeling. I did, it kind of worked. And I also kept in mind that you promised me a reward tonight. Yes, the reward still stands. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Oh, Summer, okay, girl. But I still need to know who was after me with that knife, though. What do I want to wear for tonight? Black, let's see. Ooh, okay, white. White is kind of cute, too. Beige. 
Ooh, I'll fuck with beige too in red. No, I want to do beige. I don't know. Something beige is cute. This is the one. Let me change my lips. Boom. Look at me, natural cutie with the uh with the beige on. <clears throat> Must be Myron. Let's see. What he going to look like? Hey, I was What? There's no one, but I heard someone knock. <gasps> Not her again. Hey, come back here. Girl, she always be going places without no defense, without no knife, no bat, no mirror, no skillet. You're trapped. I won't let you escape this time. And I know you're not Grace because she's dead. So take that cheap wig off and show me your face. Summer ain't scared of shit, but I am. Who is it? Who is it? <gasps> Who is it? Watch it be Jessica. Absolutely, watch it be Jessica in a blonde wig. I will be like, bitch. But who do you think it is? That's question for today. Tell me in the comments, who do you think is showing their face to Summer right now? She's shocked, so it's gotta be somebody that she knows or recognizes, right? I don't know. But anyway, make sure y'all buy my song on iTunes at your place if you wanna join the Discord. Show me some proof, tag me in a screenshot, post a screenshot on Insta or DM me if you got that access. You know, just show me. Post it on your TikTok and tag me. I wanna see that you bought the song and then I'm adding you into the Discord. I'm the only member right now. And check out the merch and everything too. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless your every step. Let's talk about it.